guess I'm first. What did you make of the ejection? Nobody even triggered it. Yeah, I just you know, I, I got to look at the replay. It's tough to lose him. He's you know he had a great game going, so it's part of it. Are you concerned about Julius right now, and just in terms of why he would lose his temper at that moment when the team had all the momentum? Well, I'm concerned about everything, you know, and the the shame of it is, I thought we came out with a great effort to start the game. We had the game going in a good way. And, you know, we fell short in the end. And, you know, it's disappointing to come out with uh, a loss. So that part is disappointing. And then, you know, we have to have the mental toughness to get through this. Do you know what spurred Julius Camden? I don't. Have you actually had any words with Julius? I haven't talked to him yet. Yeah. I mean, Cam Johnson in the fourth quarter, I mean, he's a, one of those young players who, what he did in that fourth quarter, what, what did you make of him? Yeah, no, he's a great shot maker. He's a great shooter, you know, so he got loose. And, you know, it's tough going down the stretch. I, I thought, and I want to, again, I want to look at the film first, but, you know, we got to clean up our fouls. The ones, you know, some of them are tough that, it, you know, like they're, they go either way, but we got to be disciplined and not whack down, you know, and then they went to the line, they made theirs and we didn't make ours. And that was probably the difference in the game. And then we saw it at the end, we, we missed the free throw and that, the ball got batted around here three or four different people, they come up with it and they bank in a three for the win, you know? So we got to come up with that ball. So some of you guys were saying the other day, we just need a win to, that will break this confidence or whatever. When you see another one like this, get away and pile on. Uh, and you just got, again, mental toughness. It, it get, when, you, when you face adversity, being mentally tough is the most important thing to be. And in any situation, so you no, know, we can't hang our heads. We can't feel sorry for ourselves. We got to get out there and fight. That's what this is about right now. This is about our fight, our will, determination, togetherness, our spirit, all of that. You know, this. You no, know, we got to make it happen. What? Uh, I mean, like, not every one of them, obviously, but with a bunch of those Cam Johnson threes in, in the fourth quarter were, were pretty clean loops. Did you, I mean, was that good offense? Was that you guys missing rotations? Again, you know, like some, I thought Payne was, was having his way with us, you know, so you got into the paint, you created havoc and, you know, you got to get the ball stopped and you got to be in early. You got to get out early. You got to read the ball well. And so, and then their bigs put pressure on the rim. So you got to get, you got to take care of that too. So, but again, it's, you know, they shoot 44%. We out rebound them by 16, right? We should be walking out of here with a win. When, when Julius gets ejected in a moment like that, when you guys are 10 at the time and then you let go of it, do you, do you talk to him about the context of that and, and, and what happens after? Do you, do you just yeah, I, yeah, well, you talk to your players every day. You know, like that's an important part of the job. And so, and you want your team to understand why you, uh, you either win or lose. And, but you also have to have, have an understanding. It, it's an emotional game, but you don't, you, you can't cross over that line. That's the, you, you got to know where to stop. And so, and none of us are perfect. We're going to make mistakes, but we got to be disciplined. Did you give a message to the team sort of about the mental toughness or what was your message to the team after it was? Yeah, you know, it, like the, you don't say a whole lot after the game. You're going to hit on a couple things, but then I'd like to, you know, look at the film, take a good look at what actually did happen and then present to them, you know, what, what we did well, what we have to correct and how we move forward. And then also get ready for our next game. So it, it doesn't end. And that's why you 
you want to establish routine right at the beginning of the year for everything that you're going to go through throughout the course of the year. So, you know, and sometimes, it, you know, it can change very quickly. You know, things can go from, you know, good to bad real fast, and they can go from bad to good real fast. And sometimes it's just like it's a hustle play that gets you going, you know. So right now nothing is going our way. we got to make it go our way. Uh, talked just like a couple of games ago about um, a lack of confidence that you thought you guys had in, in fourth quarters. How do you solve that? Well, the confidence is going to come from your preparation. You know, that's where confidence comes from. So, and, and confidence can wane. You know, like if you if you have a run of shot making in the fourth, you know, in your it'll give you confidence. So, you know, basically over the course of the season, we've averaged 25 points a, uh, a game uh, a quarter in the fourth and we've given up 25. So it's, a, it's been a wash. And uh, prior to tonight, like it's we're we're shooting about the same percentage that we're defending at, which is pretty good. Now we're not like the, the rebounding has been good, um, and our free throw shooting has to be better. Yep.